this is Daniel March. As you see, I'm going to be doing another movie review. This is going to be for um, Exodus, Gods, and Kings. And yeah, this movie stars Christian Bale, jo Joel Edgerton, John Turturro, Aaron Paul, Ben Mendelsohn, Maria Valverde, Sejourner Reaver, Ben Kingsley, Chaim Abbas, um, pretty sure I said that wrong, um, Isaac Andrews, Ewan Bremer, Indira Varma, um, Go I'm, pr I'm gonna butcher this one big time, Gosh Gosh Feta Farahani. The only reason I'm saying her name is because her character is somewhat important as well. Um, Tara Fitzgerald, and is that it? Pretty sure that's it. And Hal Houston, and Andrew Tambert, and Anton Alexander, and I'm yeah, and Kevrock Malkian, and that's basically it. Yeah, that's that's it. So yeah, I I just want to know where most of these actors come, actors and actresses come from, because some of them have really weird names. That's all I really want to know. So yeah, before I begin on the actual review though of Exodus, Gods and Kings, um, before I get to that, um, stop the video, um, go check it out and come back and watch the rest of this review if you haven't watched the movie already. So yeah, 10 second spoiler warning as usual. Um, stop the video, go check it out and come back and watch the rest of this review. 10 second spoiler warning as usual starting now. Okay, so 10 seconds are up, so for those who have yet to actually watch the movie and haven't already, um, please don't comment down below or be messaging me that I never gave you a uh, fair warning, because as usual, I did. So, Exodus, Gods and Kings, what did I think of it as usual? Quick synopsis, likes and dislikes, and then the rate. So, basically, it's about the story of Moses and um, his journey after he was exiled, after he found out that he was a, he was born a slave, um, you know, his, his journey in exile, um, his marriage, um, and him coming back to hit the city where he came from, and basically um, you know, taking out Ramses at Ramses, Ramses, and you know trying to take him out in that whole village, and then rescuing all the slaves, and you know you have stuff such as the seven plagues, the seven deadly plagues. You also have the splitting of the Red Sea, and you also have the um the Ten Commandments. Um so yeah, I I really wanted to watch this film because you know, it seems interesting so in interesting, so yeah. And I've gotta say aside from me, uh, this is probably one of the biggest disappointments disappointments this year. Aside from Amazing Spider Man two, maybe the Ninja Turtles movie, the T maybe Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles this has to be one of the biggest disappointments this year. This was such a disappointing, disappointing movie, in my opinion. Um, I mean, where do I start? Okay, I'm gonna start start with the positives. So when you do get battle scenes, like the action scenes, they're actually done very well done. The action in the movie is actually very, done very well. It's very exciting. It's very intense. And yeah. I will also say that the wide shots, like the wide, you know, the wide shots of the landscapes and whatnot, um, and whatever, like the landscape wide shots are also very well done. The special effects are actually pretty good, um, especially for um, Moses at the end. They turn him into an older man after he prayed, prayed for about a month, because um, the story goes he prays, he prays for 40 days and 40 nights, and then he comes down from the mountains with the Ten Commandments, and he has the white hair, and he's and he looks old, even though he's like 45 or something like that. And they do a good job in, on makeup. I mean, the make, the, I guess the special effects are pretty good. Yeah, the special effects are pretty good, and the action scenes are pretty good. And, you know, the, some of the scenes are actually um, shot very well, you know, beautiful. But aside from that, ah, it was just terrible, in my opinion. It was just bad. Okay, so, much, okay, so the acting just... I don't know what the hell is wrong with the people here, but I know Christian. I mean Christian Bale, he's a great actor. Ben Kingsley, he's a great actor. Aaron Paul, he's a great actor. Um, Joel Egerton, he's a great act actor. But for some reason, for me, it just seemed like they were they were all overacting their asses off. It just seemed their acting just seemed off. Um, they were all. 
they were overacting and it just did not seem natural it just didn't seem natural they were all just overacting they were being way too extravagant and I mean I mean sometimes you do have to be extravagant but they were just being way too extravagant hence overacting and also another thing to point out that every time Ben Kingsley was was in a scene um he just did not fit as his character I I, I don't know if it was just that he was I don't know if it was uh, okay I don't know if he was miscast or what was the problem but every time I saw Ben Kingsley um in a scene I always thought that's Ben Kingsley I could not get into his character um, his character's name was Nun, um, and he was supposed to portray this character called Nun, right? And I'm, and instead, and instead of him being the character, every time I saw him, I'm like, that's Ben Kingsley, that is Ben Kingsley. So, yeah. So to me, the acting didn't work. It just seemed like everybody was overacting their asses off. It just did not work, and it just seemed weird, and it didn't seem natural. It didn't seem like anybody was really into it. And yeah, um, the writing was also terrible in my opinion. The the writing, the writing for the for the movie was just terrible. Um, I mean, again, I don't know if it had to had something. Again, I don't know if it had something to do with the acting, um, or whatever. But the writing here also just seemed bad. It seemed terrible. Um, yeah, the I mean, the writing here was just you know the script, the dialogue was just. Oh my gosh! I don't know. It was just, it was just bad. It was just, it was lackluster. It, it, it could have been improved by a lot. I mean, yeah. And also, like, for example, how I said, there's many action scenes here. There, there are many action scenes, but, but some of those action scenes, and even I, even if they're not action scenes, there's some scenes that are just un, unjustifiable. And what I mean by that is that like. It's just unjustifiable, and what I mean by that is that the characters are doing are doing an action or trying to discuss something, or whatever, and they're trying to make up this excuse, but the excuse doesn't really make sense. So you have you know them doing actions, but for no real logical sense. And it's just weird, and it just, it just doesn't look good. It just just it's it's bad. It's it's just terrible. I mean, aside from the great action, and aside from the from the special effects, it's all just bad. Also, the splitting of the Red Sea. Oh my gosh! Special, special effect wise, the um with the special effects is actually pretty good. But I just felt like they rushed through the splitting of the Red Sea. Cause for me, I thought they would have done something like you know brought Moses up to the up to the Red Sea and then you know, I don't know put his sword down and then the the sea would have ripped through the middle and then everybody just walks there and then he takes out his sword and all the enemies die or something. But no, it was just a humongous tidal wave. It just seemed I'm like, what the? This isn't a splitting of the Red Sea. This is more of a tidal wave of the Red Sea, and it just looked bad. It looked weird, and it, it was just bad. And also, I know they can't. Also, the Ten Commandments. I kind of wish they would have spent a little bit more on that. It was. It kind of also rushed through that as well. I mean, overall, this was a really disappointing movie. I really expected way more from this, and overall, it was just terrible. It, felt, it just fell flat on its on its ass, and this is coming from the same guy who did Gladiator, and you know Ridley Scott. I don't know what happened here. Um, yeah, I mean this is overall just a terrible movie. Disappointed me, and yeah, on a scale of one to ten, one being the worst, ten being the best, and six being decent. Um, I hate to say this, but honestly, honestly, I give this movie a three out of ten. A three out of ten. That's I, that's just as bad as Twenty Two Jump Street. Cause I, I, or not I, either. I okay. So three out of ten. I either gave that same rate to Twenty Two Jump Street earlier this year, or I gave it a a higher grade at at four out of ten or something. So this is just as bad or even worse than Twenty Two Jump Street. And I hate the Jump Street franchise. So that is a lot, and especially since it's a re religious film, I, I, my gosh. So yeah, three out of ten. In my opinion, it's just a bad movie. It's a terrible movie. Avoid it at all costs. And if you really want to see it, wait till it comes on Redbox or something. Do not go in the theaters. You're gonna. Also, it's way too long. It's way too long, and it feels feels long. There's some scenes that could have definitely been cut down. And yeah, I mean, overall, it's just a bad movie.
um, terrible movie in my opinion, and it's very disappointing in my opinion. So yeah, that's basically it for this review. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Subscribe. I do movie movie reviews, TV show reviews, and comic book reviews. So definitely do stay tuned for that. Besides that, comment down below on, below on your thoughts on the movie. Did you like it? Did you hate it? Was it a disappointment for you guys? Comment all that down below. Let me know. Like the video, share on Facebook, Twitter, MySpace, or whatever you guys prefer. And that's basically it for now. This is Daniel Mart signing off.